Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm about to show you guys how to do a beat on Studio One for Professional. So this is going to be real quick and real simple for a beginner. I just want to help somebody out today. So let's get it. So on my blank session here, what I'm about to do first is just open up an instrument. I use the Browse tab. And Studio One has a bunch of stock plugins, but I'm going to just use Surge which is a free VST that I got. So I'm gonna just go to keyboard and soft suitcase is a cool one. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is set your looper bar. So I'm gonna just do like four bars. You usually do like from four to eight. So when you're doing four, make sure that uh, you do it up to the five right there. And if you're doing eight, you do it up to the nine. So let's just do it, because like I said, it's going to be real simple. And then once you set it, turn on the looper bar so it's active. And then uh, let me close out of this browse tab and zoom out. Okay, so we're about to just do a quick little simple little beat. Okay, so set your metronome right here. It's your click. And I don't want the tempo to be 120. Probably like 104. And then here is the three count, the pre count, or four count. I'm sorry, it's a four count. So uh, you press that and it goes one, two, three, four, boom. Now you start recording. And then you hit record. So here we go. button again and then you hit stop and then it's there so I had my input quantitized on which means it's like automatic quantitized as soon as you're playing it it's real time and then uh, it's set to 116 so everything should be set automatically on time if you turn this IQ off it's, it's not going to be there well it'll be there now but if you do it real time it won't be there Okay, then you click off that, then you go to browse, and let's open up impact. Let's go to MVP loops, and I'll just drag over anyone. Don't really matter. It's just, just to show you guys how to make a beat. I don't like that at all, but... Some of these, you got to mix it up. We'll do that for the sake of time. Let's do a pre-count. And then turn it off and let it play. Even go. So then stop that and then uh, so. Let's do another one. Click this. And this is like a whole... It's like a whole bunch of them you can have. So um, they're all on your MIDI keyboard. And we're going to add some hi-hats. And for that, we're going to go to the edit window. And we got the drum one. Not this. This one. And uh, we're going for this one. There we go. So I'm not adding a new track. It's already there in the kit. So let's hit record. Okay, so watch. You hear how it sounds? It's not the way I did it, right? So watch. Here's how you do it. It's because I had it on... Uh, 1 16th input, so that's all it did. So let's go to arrow tool, double click, and I'm going to. So it has me on F, but it also it works on F and it works on um, F sharp and it works on C. So I'm gonna just zoom out, and it's this one right here. So I'm gonna highlight, and I'm gonna go to quantize. 
in, um, auto quantize. It's funny how this is auto, and this is input. But I'm gonna click this quantize to 116T. And that just moved it. Now it should sound exactly how I want it. It should. The T is for the triplet. And then sometimes you could even go, let's just say you zoom in. We're still on the edit. Zoom in. So let's take it off. So this ain't highlighted anymore. We we're not highlighted. So um, take it off of 1T and go 132 or 116T and go 132. Zoom in. And then click one of these and then press D for duplicate. And duplicate it. Let's see how it sounds. All right. So that last part should have like a... That was from simply just changing it. So then, um, next thing. So, okay, actually, before we do anything further. So, since that's all on one track and you want to separate those, you're going to right-click and go to Explode Pitches to Tracks. And that makes your, uh, so if I were to solo, this is the kicks, hi-hats. And claps. Okay. So it's all there, baby. It's all there. And then uh, let's go browse. Let's just add one more instrument before we arrange. Just something real simple. I just want to show you guys how to do it. So um, let's go to Surge. Category. I think I'm going to go to Mono Sin. I don't know what these sound like. I don't want nothing harsh. <laughs> uh, go to classically because I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing that's going to irritate me. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to sound like, but oh well. Let's go. what you want in there it's time to bounce them all down to audio files so make sure you mix them how you want all right yeah so after you're done putting them in here it's time to bounce them down so highlight them all and do control b and that bounced them all down so they have audio files so with the audio files you can't go back inside and make changements on the midi note Okay, so here we go. You're going to um, arrange it by like pressing D, D on those tracks that you do want. Bring out your bar. D, D, D. Bring these out. D, 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 D. Then start cutting them. Backspace. Backspace where you don't want them. That's how you do it. Of course, you would have more instruments and stuff, but... Drag this back in here. Come back in. And that's what you do. Now, when you want to see how long your song is, you go to click bars and go to seconds. And you can see. So, like, right here, if I click up here, I'm at 53 seconds of my song. 
D, D, D for duplicate. Uh, as you can see, at 127, you just keep adding when you want, how you want for choruses. And that's how you make a beat. Once you're done with this and you have it arranged, you go to song, export mix down. You click the three dots to where you want to save it at or four dots. I'm not sure. Man, my eyesight, bruh. And then uh, you do uh, save it where you want, like in music or whatever. You name the title that you want it to be. And then, yep, between loop. You make sure you have this loop where you, like, want it to start and where you want it to end when you, like, bouncing it out of uh, Studio One. So that's between loop. Leave that. Leave it all the same. MP3 or Wave are the top two. 44.1, constant, yep, 30, uh, 320. And then you hit OK. And then your beat will start bouncing. And that's how you make a beat in Studio One. I hope that this helped you out. Please like this video and make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already. It's all love. I'm gone. Dropping content weekly. I ain't stopping. Jean Zill, say my name. Run it up. 100K.